I just saw you on the TV news. What the hell is Did you get a lead? Yeah, straight to Albatross prison. Do you know how I can get it? Chief won't like that. He's closed the file and Rex has escaped. What if the Chief didn't know? I don't know. I'll go ask him. No, wait. Look, there's no way of getting there without finding him. Okay, there's one way you can do it. First, you get on the ferry at the jetty behind the police station. You don't tell the chief about it. That's right. I'll see you later. Okay, good luck. How do you speak to Ellie? Tell her I said hi. satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana deferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana. The one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks, the big iced tea taste test is history and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana overlifting. 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying nice tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. <sighs> Louisiana. The one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks, the big iced tea taste test is history and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton. 
65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying nice tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks. The big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks. The big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks. The big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. I don't really know. I, I never count them, but, but um, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, hey, we're doing you 11 blue? instead of 8 this year. I've had better days, and, uh, Sonny. Got the I'm Chase. <clears throat> I heard you might know about it. Uh, yes, Fury. I think it, uh, it, 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 uh, that man it's nice to that house. For helping him escape? Mm -hmm. Why would I? It was like... Rex was I my biggest customer show. until he disappeared, uh, owing me uh, for a hot tub. You know how difficult it is to smuggle one of them in? Uh, Speaking of which, careful with Haywood's new car, hmm? Uh, so
So how did Rex escape? Oh, I have many. I have one with no one's allowed in his cell. I find out from the library, not even the police. That's not bad. I have many cars and decorations. Both want to see Rex back in here. I collect uh, owls. Owls and animals. Owls and animals. I know. 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 I of July, I was in Bend, Oregon. We had uh, 17,000 people. He was on the side of the river, uh, sitting on the grass. And we had a big time up there. Really celebrated the 4th of July. Oh, I have many. I have one with the head of a bird. I have uh, several Irish black thorns. And, and uh, I, have, I have many carved and decorated canes that, that people have sent me. And uh, that people have sent me. And, uh, and uh, I've gotten his gifts. So uh, I've quite a collection. I love them. Uh, I collect owls. Owls and eagles. Owls and eagles. I don't really know. I, I never count them. But, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we're doing 11 instead of 8 this year. And uh, the rest of all your things are uh, Yes, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's been nice to have owls. I enjoyed the show. Uh, and I was, uh, on the 4th of July, I was in Bend, Oregon. We had uh, 17,000 people on the side of the river, sitting on the grass. And that's what I really celebrated the 4th of July. Oh, I have many. I have one with the head of a bird. I have uh, several Irish black horns. And uh, I have many cars and decorations. Yeah. I need to check up so, uh, myself or something. I've quite a collection. It's I called love. blue. Uh, I collect oh, oh, owls. Blue? Owls and eagles. Owls and eagles. I me. don't really know. Oh, I, I, I get some of that cake. Uh, His mom baked it. I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, it kind of tastes funny. Instead of eight this year. There you go. And, uh, I'm off for a nap. Need to stay alert. That's why I have these four days. Yes, I think it's. I'm gonna get Bend, you back Oregon. for this, policeman. We had uh, 17,000 people on the side of the river, uh, sitting on the grass. You get in there? Yeah. Okay. I gotta be quick. There are guards near me. Oh, I have Once you've gotten here, you get into the warden's office. Uh, what? It's the only way to wreck the cell. Wait. Uh, yeah, that's many blue. Cars He's the one who talks to pastries. Okay. Now go. The door's at the right and, uh, side of the third and, uh, story. You better hope the warden's so, uh, not in there. I it's a good collect, thing these cards uh, are between you and uh, me. I collect owls. Oh, owls and eagles. Owls and eagles. I TV. don't really know. I, I never count them. But, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we're doing 11 instead of 8 this year. And uh, just the lawyers and doctors. Uh, yes, I think it's uh, it, it, I enjoyed the show. Uh, and I was uh, in Oregon. Nice. Uh, really? Come on, I'm Just let me out here. Sitting on the grass. And that big time. Really celebrated the 4th of July. Oh, I have many. I have one with the head of a bird. I have uh, several Irish black horns. And uh, I have many carved.
Yes, I think that uh, it, it uh, would have been nice to have had Hal with the group and the center because I enjoyed the show. Uh, and I was, uh, on the 4th of July, I was in Bend, Oregon. We had... Uh, Chase, this is really important. People. What is it? So, do you think Ellie likes me or not? Frank! I'm at the prison, remember? Really Trying to find out how Rex line. escaped. Oh, my dear. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I think she does. Sweet! Blue, 1920. Oh. Why, yes. That's what we're having. Uh, is there something wrong? Of course, my dear. Wait till you taste it. Excellent vintage. Soft Blue, 1920. Why, yes. That's what we're having. I just, I passed a, a school one day in LA that said art and soul, and uh, I just thought maybe that would make a good title. Just about every album I've, I've done, I've always done some, as you say, interpretations or covers, and uh, this was the first time I really got a chance to do a whole album of them. And um, initially, I thought it would end up being just songs from the 60s, but uh, the way it turned out, it, it kind of moved up through the years too. When you're as old as I am, your style is pretty much in, in place, you know. So there have been some of these songs which were hard to do because, I mean, you know, you take a song like What's Going On from Marvin Gaye, it's so beautiful. I mean, you know, it, it's very hard to top What's it, you know what I mean? So you're looking for a bit of a different kind of integrity to put over because the arrangements aren't that different. But yet the inner approach was different. It was on, you know, we, we, were, we started off in, in LA with the sessions. And um, this time around, I've done albums before. I've been, when the earthquake came to LA the last time. And this time the fires were raging in LA. And it, you know, we were calling them the fire sessions for a while because, I mean, you, know, you can hear a certain dryness in my voice. There was ash falling on everywhere in the sky. It was a real weird time. You know, at night I would drive back to this place we have in Valencia, seeing the freeway on fire. And, you know, so it kind of gave it, you know, the first few tracks we put down had this very haunting kind of atmosphere. I've noticed my timbre of my voice change as I get older. So now when I do vocals, I think I kind of get, you know, I get very serious about them. You know, knowing that they're going to be very defined, you know, each time I do them. But at the same time, it, it, 
I did most of the vocals in C.J. Vanston's studio hey guys, in North Hollywood, the bag and wait which is a space as small as this, the last with his boards and, 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 and the boot, you know. So it was, um, I, I felt very little intrusion, and uh, I was able to just kind of did go off into my, you know, to the elevator. Yeah. Just, I passed wow. a, a school one day in L.A. that Most said art be sold. After the war, he made and sure uh, he got I just thought room in maybe the that would make a good title. Mm -hmm. Just about well, every album I've in there, done, I've always I've done some, in as you say, interpretations or covers. So and uh, this was the first good time I really got a chance Rex to do chase. a whole album of it. And, when you get him, and um, blues, initially, I thought it would end up being just songs from the 60s. But uh, the way it turned out, it, it kind of moved up through the years too. When you're as old as I am, your style is pretty much in, in place, you know. So there have been some of these songs which were hard to do because, I mean, you know, you take a song like What's Going On from Marvin Gaye. It's so beautiful. I mean, you know, it, right. it's very hard to top it, you know what I mean? So you're looking for a bit of a different kind of integrity to put over because the arrangements aren't that different, but yet the inner approach was different. It was hard, you know, we, were, we started off in, in LA with the sessions, and um, this time around, I've done albums before, I've been, when the earthquake came to LA the last time, and this time the fires were raging in LA, and it, you know, we were calling them the fire sessions for a while, because, I mean, you can hear a certain dryness in my voice, there was ash falling on everywhere in the sky. It was a real weird time. You know, at night I would drive back to this place we had in Valencia, seeing the freeway on fire. And, you know, so it kind of gave, the, you know, the first few tracks we put down had this very haunting uh, kind of atmosphere. I've noticed my timbre of my voice change as I get older. So now when I do vocals, I think I kind of get, you know, I get very serious about it. You know, knowing that they're going to be very defined so many. each time I do them. But at the same time, I did most of the vocals in C.J. Vanston's studio in North Hollywood, which was a space as small as this, with his board and, and, and the boom, you know. So it was, um, I, I felt very little intrusion. And uh, I was able to just kind of go off into my, you know, to my I passed a, a school one day in LA that said art in soul. And uh, I just thought, maybe that would make a good time. Just about every album I've done, I've always done some, as you say, interpretations or covers. And uh, this was the first time I really had a chance to do a whole album. And um, initially, I thought it would end up being just songs from the 60s. But uh, the way it turned out, Kind of moved up to the years to three years old as I am. His style is pretty much in, in place. You know. So there have been some of these songs which were hard to do because, I mean, you know, you take a song like What's Going On from Marvin Gaye. It's so beautiful. I mean, you know, it, it's very hard to top it. You know what I mean? So you're looking for a bit of a different kind of integrity to put over because the arrangements aren't that different, but yet the inner approach was different. It was hard, you know, we, were, we started off in, in L.A. with the sessions and um, this time around, I've done albums before, I've been, when the earthquake came to L.A. the last time and this time the fires were raging in L.A. and, it, you know, we were calling them the fire sessions for a while because, I mean, you can hear a certain dryness in my voice. There was ash falling on everywhere in the sky. It was a real weird time. You know, at night I would drive back to this place we had in Valencia seeing the freeway on fire and you know so it kind of gave the you know the first few tracks we put down had this very haunting uh, kind of atmosphere around. I've noticed my timber of my voice change as I get older so now when I do vocals I think I kind of get you know I get very serious about it you know knowing that they're going to be very defined you know Uncle Duke took me along with him but at the same time I did most Dummy of the vocals in C.J. Vanston's studio in North Hollywood, like which was a space as small as this, yeah, with his board and, and the, and the booth, you know. Clarence so it was, um, I, I felt call him very little intrusion, nice. Thanks, and uh, I was able like to just kind of go off into my, you know, to oh, I, I barely touch anything.
I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred in the You'll get to the mine a lot faster. I know, kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle. So, what's the garage code? Flash! Right. Thanks. Oh, no! Time machine! Hey, Carl. Some guy in a bowler hat. Ah, oh, great. They're gonna find some way to blame me for this. Right. And do you want to know what else isn't funny? Your giant ant stole the time machine. We're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. I'm on it. I'm polishing, I'm polishing! Let's go! Charge! Well, I like the old-fashioned method myself. Good old dynamite! That'll blast him out! Oh! Trying to trick me, eh? Well, give me that! What am I doing? That dumb mouse is pretty smart! And he's right on target! I hope it works! Here goes! Well, we know one thing. He's got a right powerful kick. Here he comes now. Here's the lion, sire. And smart, too. Carl, I barely touched anything. I'm sure that whatever minor alteration may have occurred will go completely unnoticed. That could be any kid running a time machine. See? My hair is completely different. Enough talk. I know you are the one who changed the garage code. And me, Uncle. So, what's the garage code? Crash. Right. Oh, thanks. Oh, no. Carl! Me, Carl. Some guy in a bowler hat. Ah, oh, great. They're gonna find some way to blame me for this. Right. And do you want to know what else isn't funny? Giant ant stole the time machine. And we're all wound up. Let's just calm down, take a breather, and watch the sunset. I'm on it. I'm polishing. I'm polishing. Let's go. Charge! Well, I like the old-fashioned method myself. Good old dynamite. That'll blast him out! Oh! Trying to trick me, eh? Well, give me that! What am I doing? That dumb mouse is pretty smart! And he's right on target! I hope it works! Here goes! Yeah! Oh, oh! Well, we know one thing. He's got a right powerful kick. Here he comes now! Here's the lion, sire! Hey, you. And Spark, too! Right Folks, the Big Eyes Tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks, the big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste Licking of Louisiana. Stinky Louisiana's Richard. secret? Other Louisiana the just camera. tastes a whole lot better. See how yeah, satisfying iced tea can taste. I sure won't when he retires. <laughs> Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks, the big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. 
In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% before the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. I can't my car Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. <sighs> Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks. The big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. This is going to be a blast. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. <sighs> Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Folks. The big iced tea taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67% prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. <sighs> Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Taste test is history, and the clear winner is Louisiana. In Atlanta, it's Louisiana over Lipton, 65 to 30. In Birmingham, 67 percent prefer the great taste of Louisiana. Louisiana's secret? Louisiana just tastes a whole lot better. See how satisfying iced tea can taste. Final tally, Louisiana preferred two to one. It's the clear winner. I think someone wants to stop me from getting... Sick. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Cause it doesn't get cloudy. <sighs> Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Great. Who was the leader? The famous lawman. I was already! Just loafing along. Thinking the good old song to the wind. Go in now! I feel like my head's been used as a battery ram! Surprise guest on our program. Don't let her make you come on yourself. Baba, you see why? Or they'll come on. Who was really the famous lawman? Why was that even there? Why do I keep hitting those things? Am I glad I remembered to pack 
my parachute today. Although, some spare pants would have been handy too. Perfect landing. I've quite a collection, I love it. 
Uh, I collect hmm. owls, well, even if owls and eagles, him. owls and eagles. Don't I don't move. really know. I, I never count. Hey, I think good, good work, good, man. Uh, we're doing 11 hours of the day here. And uh, I've got the lawyers and doctors, yeah. Uh, yes, I think it, uh, it, it uh, would have been nice to have that owl. I'm sure you'll be fine. Device. I enjoyed the show. Watch uh, this. And I was... Uh, Fourth of July, I was in Dan yeah. Morgan. Had, uh, this isn't going to end well, is it? 17,000 people sitting on the fire. Oh! Oh! Uh, sitting on the grass. Oh! And yes, it's right. Ah. It was celebrated the Fourth of July. Oh, oh I have many. Oh, I have one with the head of a bird. I have uh, several Irish black Legs, cars, check. Uh, Arms, and, check. Uh, I've, head, I've many carved check. Decorated. What do you know? I'm still alive! I've got gifts. So, uh, that's my collection. I love them. Uh, I collect owls. Owls and eagles. Owls and eagles. I don't really know. I, I never count them. But, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we're doing 11 instead of 8 this year. And uh, we've got the lawyers and doctors. Uh, yes, I think it, uh, it, it uh, would have been nice to have had owls. I enjoyed the show. More bad guys. Uh, I must be getting close to stinky. Uh, Fourth of July, I was in Denver, Oregon. We had uh, 17,000 people on the side of the river, sitting on the grass. And we had a big time up there. We really celebrated the Fourth of July. Oh, I have many. I have one with the head of a bird. I have uh, several Irish black thorns. And uh, I have many carved and decorated an idea, canes. Chase. That, Maybe don't fall in that terrifying grinder and, uh, machine. And, uh, and uh, I've got some gifts. So uh, I've quite a collection. I love it. Uh, I collect owls. Owls and eagles. Owls and eagles. I don't really know. I, I never count them. But, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. Uh, we're doing 11 instead of 8 this year. And uh, I've got the lawyers and the doctor here. Uh, yes, I think it's... Uh, it, it, uh, I enjoyed the show. Uh, and I was uh, for the July of Dan Oregon. We had uh, 17,000 people on the side of the river sitting on the grass. And then we really celebrated the 4th of July. Bite your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a green collar. Bite your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a green collar. Bite your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a green collar. Bite your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a green collar. Ooh, a Bite your lip, Huck. Maybe there's a clue. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? I... Then I suppose you know yeah. that it's all Who's over that? the park Get about you yeah. wearing a green collar. Bite your lip, Huck. Where did you I'll hear about me good. wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a free collar. Bite your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over Long the park no about sleep. you wearing a free Rex collar. Fury. Bite Look your lip, sleep. Huck. Where What's did that? you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Then I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a free collar. Right Leave your it. lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin? My clothes guy pin? says he to found someone to steal us a nice then new truck. Then I suppose you know Courtesy that it's all Lego over the park PD. about you wearing oh, a free collar. Turn that noise off! Right your lip, ah, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep nice from snoring? Then I it looks that way, you but know no. That it's you got beat up, Chase. About you Good thing Dunby set me up here. Bite your lip, Huck. 
Where did you hear He's about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Rick's got to him first. And I suppose you know that it's all over the park about you wearing a three You came here for me? Bite no. your lip, Huck. He'll be fine. Where did you hear about me oh. wearing a clothespin to area. keep from snoring? Her then dad I is going to you know that what? it's all over the Don't park worry, Natalia. You I'll find him. I'll find him. Bite Without your you. lip, Huck. Where did you hear about Maybe me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? Maybe we should have testified against Rex Fury. If Rex snoring, has got her daddy, and you're planning you on rescuing him, then you're gonna the need to learn how to defend yourself. Go see this guy. I know your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a He grabbed Stinky collar? before I could find Fight him and then knocked me hook. out. Where did you hear about so me what are you going to do? Get some training at the local dojo and make sure that he you know that it's all okay, over the park. Okay, and I'm going to give Frank another call. I bet he's lost Fight his phone. Your lip, Huck. Where did you hear about me wearing a clothespin to keep from snoring? 